here we go. Good afternoon, Highlands. Sam and Corinne here with your afternoon announcements. After school detention today will be in Mr. Schlarman's room, number 103. The new fitness center will open to the student body toward the end of October. Until that time, remember no student is permitted to use the fitness center unless working directly with a coach or teacher as part of a class. Once again, the fitness center is not to be used by students unless directly supervised by a coach or teacher. The Fort Thomas Police Department is in need of a crossing guard for after school duty at the intersection of Memorial Parkway and North Fort Thomas Avenue. That's right by the Marathon Station. The hours run from 245 to 320, so any student interested in the position or needing more information about the position should contact Debbie at the City Building at 441-6562. That's 441-6562. You must be 18 years old to apply. This week's calendar clue question is, what am I? Clues are, I have several colors. I have been around over 45 years. I have a geometric shape. Most of my colors go back 45 years, but the rest are only 21 years old. Stop by the library to take a guess. Any girl that is interested in trying out for the girls' basketball team and did not make it to the meeting must see Coach Ritchie as soon as possible. Females who are invited to attend the Women Lead Conference at NKU on October 28th are reminded to register online at the link that was emailed to your household. An intent form is due to Ms. Lemons, that's in room 004, by tomorrow, October 3rd, along with a waiver of liability and a release form. By Friday, October 17th, you will need to turn in your teacher notification and approval forms, as well as a permission slip. Please see Ms. Lemons in room 004 if you have any questions. Attention NHS members, the Junior Football League is in need of workers from 930 to 1130 this Saturday at the concession stand. Please see Ms. Nash or Ms. Hafey if interested. Attention juniors and seniors, a representative from Watkins College of Art, Design and Film will be here on Friday at 1245. Transylvania University will be here on Monday at 145. The College of Mount St. Joseph will be here on Wednesday at 8 a.m. And Tufts University will be here on Wednesday at 1245. If you're interested in meeting with any of these reps, please see guidance for a pass. And now a very special announcement from our own resident a cappella group. Take note. I need to be free with you tonight. All right, thank you. Need help in Spanish? I don't know what you're talking about. I mean, why? <laughs> okay. We will have tutors on Mondays and Thursdays in room 206. That's Ms. Meadows' room to help you out. It will start after school and last until 3.30. Corinne, over to you. Student Council will meet today after school in room 111. Attention art club members. There will be an open studio tonight from 6.30 to 8.30. Both art rooms will be open. Please plan to attend. This is a great opportunity to get work done on class projects. Attention Math Honor Society members, the meeting schedule for this Friday has been canceled. However, if you have not paid your dues, please stop by room 104 before or after school this week to pay them. Also, make sure you sign up for tutoring either on Thursdays outside room 104 or come to room 104 on Mondays. Homerooms, bring in your tabs to the tab war. The winning homeroom will receive a Sunday party. The tabs will be collected on Monday. All proceeds will be donated to Leukemia and Lymphoma Society. The October 24th football game against Elder will be on Orange Out. Pick up your order form from the bookstore or in the folders in the hallway to order an orange Team Brady hashtag Walls Will Win t-shirt. Proceeds from the sale of the shirt will be donated to the Leukemia and Lymphoma Society. Orders are due on Monday, October 6th. Bluebird Embroidery is kicking off the fall sale with our first sale of the year. Orders will be taken through Wednesday, October 8th. This sale includes one-fourth Zip Cadet style sweatshirts with monogram or an H for spirit wear. Or forms are in the bookstore and in the folders throughout the halls. Sample sizes are available in room 001. As many of you may not know, some students at Highlands High School are in a band called Break and Run. This weekend they've got their biggest show to date at the Thompson House. Madison got a chance to take a listen. It just became a thing that we did and we put all of our time into. We just dedicated so much of our free time to getting better at our instruments and just getting better together. That way we could produce a good quality for 
uh, I mean, what we want to do is create music. I just really hope we can keep playing shows regularly and actually go somewhere with this because this is a dream come true almost. It's pretty awesome that as a group we all just decided to keep doing this. So not many people get to do that or decide to do that. I feel like as a band, as a whole, we really want to create something that goes beyond just what Ben, Jeff, Justin, and Dylan all want. It's the most moving thing about music is that you can create something that is going to help more than just you. Make sure you come out. Freshmen and juniors, make sure to sign up for the PSAT. The cost of the test is $14 and you can sign up in guidance. The third week of October is Teen Read Week, a national literacy initiative created by the Young Adult Library Services Association. On October 14th, the Campbell County Public Library will be celebrating Teen Read Week with an author visit at the Fort Thomas Branch. This program begins at 6 p.m. and runs until 8 p.m. Seven young adult authors and events are scheduled. Stop by the library in Fort Thomas to take a look. Sam, back to you. Thank you, Corinne. Tomorrow for lunch, we will be having in line number one, grab and go, cheeseburger and hot bites. In line number two, the sandwich line, you're going to have ham, turkey, salami, and cheese, chicken Caesar, buffalo chicken, tuna salad, and toppings. In line number three, the hot line, we're going to have footlong Cody. Remember that tomorrow we will have another edition of the Highlander News right here for you at 1230, so make sure you tune in at 1230 p.m. We will see you here tomorrow. Have an excellent Thursday, Highlands.